fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. One Silver, from the trail of the Black Arrow. Well, Silver, away! In the woods near the town of Clifton, Butch Williams and a man named Truxton sat huddled in their camp close to a well-hidden fire. Butch, you and me have a big job on our hands, but we can do it. I got only one thing to do. That's to get the Lone Ranger. That's all I'm thinking about and hoping for. That's the job I mean. Well, then I'm with you, Truck. I'm with you from the word go. What's your plan? You got any ideas? You bet I have. The Lone Ranger's life was saved by that girl, wasn't it? Yeah, I reckon so. Well, he'd give his life to save her, wouldn't he? I reckon he would. He's that kind of man. If he'd do that, we'll get him. We've as good as got him right now. Truck, don't be too sure of it. This is one time when I'm dead sure of what I'm saying. We've as good as got the Lone Ranger right now. How's that? Because, Butch, I know how we can capture that girl. Yeah, that's big talk. We don't even know who the girl is. All we saw was somebody was dressed in heavy clothes like an old woman wearing a big bonnet on her head. We never even saw the girl that helped the Lone Ranger. That don't matter. I still say the same. I know how we can capture the girl. Then when we've got her captured, we'll make a deal with the Lone Ranger. His life for hers. Uh, even if he was willing, the girl wouldn't let him save her. Not if it meant giving up his life. She won't have anything to say about it. Right now, I can't get the over much enthused about your scheme. Maybe if you tell more, I'll see it different. It sounds to me like you're tackling more than we can handle, more than the whole gang could handle before we got busted up. Well, listen. Well, in the first place, how'll you locate the girl? Remember the bonnet we found by the campfire? Yeah, but I mean now. We know that she's in the town of Clifton, don't we? Well, that's where she's likely to be. She'll hear about anything that happens in town. Sure. Now then, who was in the jail in Clifton? Our boss. Bill Tatum. Yeah. Tatum's a lawyer. He knows the law backwards, forwards, and upside down. Well, I sure was surprised when I found out that he was the one who had been giving orders to the gang all this time. Well, anyhow, he's in a calaboose, but he's not worried none. He knows enough of the law to know that he'll figure out some way to go free when he comes up for trial by Tatum jury. He wasn't worried none when I last talked to him. Let me go on. This girl knows Tatum led the gang the same as everyone else knows it. She'd also know that Tatum is a lawyer and likely to talk his way out of trouble. Now, don't it seem like good sense for her to take the law into her own hands? Yeah, maybe. But she probably won't. Tatum needn't worry about her. Tatum better worry about her. I don't follow you, truck. Bill Tatum will never see another sunrise. What? If he tells what he knows about us when he goes on trial, we'll be done for. We've got to get rid of him to keep him from squealing on us. 
The girl gets charged with what we do. The law locates her for us, and then we capture her. But how can you fix it so the law will blame her? You leave that to me. Come on now, we've got things to do. Bill Tatum was in jail, but not asleep. He could hear the measured pacing of the special guard outside his window. His mind was busy with plans for his defense in court. I'll beat the law on my day in court. Those local fools will hear of laws they never knew existed. <laughs> sure, they have evidence against me. But how'd they get it? They took it from my house. They didn't show me any search warrant. The law says that's illegal seizure. Evidence must be ruled out. <laughs> my confession? <laughs> Ah, a man can't be made to testify against himself. Hold I'll show. There, old woman. What do you want? Someone outside. Well, what's the matter with you? You lost your tongue? What do you want? Hey, you look. Oh. Wish I could see something happened there. Can't quite make it. The prisoner pressed hard against the bars of the window, straining to see the corner of the building where something had happened. Then the door behind him opened. He turned. Stared at the figure in the moonlit cell, and then... He's dead. Knife. They sure got him sudden. Where was the guard? Who done it? Something said about a woman. Well, where is the sheriff? Anyone gone for him? What about the guard? Let me through there. What's going on? Sheriff, Bill Tatum got a knife. Yes, Sheriff, he's dead. Get back. Don't touch things. Where's the guard? Where's Hank Loomis? Sheriff, I'm here. I got knocked down by that old woman. Hank, what happened to the prisoner? Who knifed him? Great guns. I didn't know he got knifed. Now look at him there on the floor. I just come to. It must have been the same woman. Who? Hey, the door's unlocked, too. Where's your keys? Keys? My, my keys, let me see. What? Well, they've been stolen. While you were sleeping off that blow on the head. What kind of a guard are you, anyhow? Sheriff, I you could... You say a woman done it? Yeah, it was. Who? I don't know. She wore a big bonnet that hit her face. She come up to me not saying a word. I asked her who she was and what she wanted. Still, she didn't say anything. Then all of a sudden, she raised her hand, holding a, a hunk of wood or something, and clouded me alongside the head. Uh, letting a woman do that. And you carrying a rifle. She didn't give me no chance at all, Sheriff. Some of you gents get more light in here. We gotta look for clues. I'll fix them. I know where there's a lamp. Fine thing. Prisoner getting a knife when he's here in the jail. Well, I'll find who done it and hang him. But I tell you, there's a woman. Is that all you can tell me about her? I didn't get a good look at her, Sheriff. Was Sheriff, too... Sheriff, I found something out in the road. Look at this. What's that? It's a woman's bonnet. Sheriff... That's like the one she wore. Let me see it. Why, sure, it's the same one. I'd bet money it is. Ah, now we got something to go on. Hey, bring that lamp over here. Hurry. Coming. Here you are. Anyone know who owns this here bonnet? Why, it's Mrs. Penny's. I've seen her wearing it. Mrs. Penny, are you sure of that? Dead sure. Come to think of it, I've seen her wearing it. But hang it all, Mrs. Penny wouldn't knife a man. She'd walked a long way around to keep from stepping on a cockroach. Wait, hold on, Sheriff. I just thought of something. Well, speak up, then. What reason would Mrs. Penny have to do a thing like this? Mrs. Penny wouldn't have a reason, not her. But what about that girl that lives with her? Who? Yeah. That youngish girl. The one that nobody ever seems to know much about. Maybe she borrowed the old woman's clothes. Hmm, Hank, maybe you got an idea at that. I reckon we'll have a talk with Ma Penny. Right now. Lone Ranger, on the fringe of the crowd, heard the declaration of the sheriff. He hurried to the home of an elderly couple. Yeah, this is where the pennies live, Silver. I never suspected that the girl lived here, too. Hip. Not much time. The sheriff will soon be here. Yes? A masked man. Please wait. Don't close the door. Listen to me. Oh, what do you want? Are you Mrs. Penny? Yes, but I've got nothing worth stealing. Please, Stephen. Mrs. Penny. Believe me when I tell you I'm not here to rob or harm you. I'm masked, but not because I'm hiding from the law. That I'm horse. Pro- it's white. You, you're the one. Has she told you about me? Yes. You're the Lone Ranger. Well, where is she now? Uh, who? The girl. I, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know anything. You better go. Wait. You just said she had told you about me. No. No, that was a mistake. Please, mister. But I must speak to her. The sheriff is coming here. He'll be here at any moment. I... I can't tell you anything. I give my word. I mustn't say any more. Then listen to what I say. Last night, a man in jail was killed. That's got nothing to do with me. Go away. Your bonnet was found at the jail. The guard was knocked down. He described the dress and the bonnet of the one who knocked him down. Go on. Then what? That's better. The sheriff thinks the girl who has been here with you borrowed your clothes and wore them when she stabbed the prisoner. She didn't do it. 
She didn't do it, I tell you. She didn't have any part in it. I'm sure she didn't. But have you any idea who did? No. I don't know anything about it. Do you know who could have borrowed your dress and your bonnet? I won't say another word. Go away. Won't you let me speak to... To the girl? She's not here. She's gone. When did she go? During the night. I don't know when. I found out this morning she hadn't slept in a bed, and that's all I can tell you. Will the law charge you with murder? I don't know. There's no way of telling what the law will do. Mercy. There comes the sheriff now, and a lot of men with him. I can't lose time answering questions now, Mrs. Penny. We'll see each other again. Penny Silver. Oh, dear me. Now what'll happen to all of us? Oh, Silver! Some of you men get after that masked man. Fetch him back here so I can ask him a few questions. All right, Sheriff, we'll get after him. Don't you go inside, more, Penny. I want to speak to you. Well, I'm here to speak to. But make it short. I got bread in the oven. What's the matter with you, Sheriff? First of all, I want to ask you if you've ever seen this bottle before. Of course I have. It's mine. That settles that, then. Now, when did you wear it the last time? Uh, when? That's what I said, when. Uh, last night. Do you hear that? Be quiet, Hank. What time last night did you wear it, Miss Penny? I don't know the exact time. Why are you asking all these questions anyhow? I got more to ask. You had a girl here living with you, didn't you? What of it? She didn't bother anyone, did she? She hardly ever showed herself around. Maybe she kept herself scarce so she wouldn't be found so easy when she finished with Bill Tatum. Who's he? That's the prisoner that was in jail. Well, he was knifed last night. Knifed, huh? Well, I reckon he must have had it coming to him. Oh, Penny, you're a hard woman to talk to. But you'd better help the law. I know you didn't kill Tatum, so it must have been the girl who wore your bonnet when the deed was done. Now, if she's innocent, the thing for her to do is show herself and prove it. I always thought it was up to the law to prove a party guilty, not up to the party to prove herself or himself innocent. Mm-hmm. Only so far, the proof is that she's guilty. If she don't have something to say, we'll have to place the charge against her. And find her. She's not here now. No? Well, maybe you can tell us where she is. I I don't know. What's her name? Uh, Sheriff, all I know is the name she used here isn't the right name. She said I could call her Jane. And if I wanted two names to make it Jane Doe. Mm. Well, Ma, I'm sorry you won't help us out more than this. I'm sorry I can't. Uh, Good day to you, Sheriff. Oh, I'm not leaving here. Unless you make me go back to my office and get a warrant to search this house. I'll do that if need be. But I'm hoping you'll save me the trouble by letting us go through the house without a warrant. Search my house? Yeah. I told you the girl's gone. I never can tell. She might have left some clues around. Maybe something in the shape of a letter or a note. Or something that would give us a hint as to where she went. Uh, She didn't leave anything. (laughs) Then you sure can't mind if I have a look. You can't go in there. Ma, I'll get that warrant if I have to. You don't need to hunt for that girl. She didn't have anything to do with the murder of Bill Tatum. You speak as if you knew something. I I know she didn't do it. How can you be so sure? I know who did. You do? Well, do you hear that, Sheriff? Who done it, Mrs. Penny? Who killed that prisoner? I can't tell you that. Please, Sheriff, please. Take my word for it. The girl didn't do it. I know she didn't because I know who did. Oh, the only way you can convince me that that girl is innocent is by telling me who's guilty. (laughs) You found the bonnet? It's mine. I admit it as much. Who wore it last night? Uh, I did. You mean you confessed to that murder? What else can I do? Take me away if you must. I'm ready. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. The sheriff heard Ma Penny's confession, but instead of arresting her, he chuckled. <laughs> oh, Ma, that's too thin. I sure take my hat off to you. You have a heap of spunk. But I know better than to believe any such yarn as you just told me. What do you mean you don't believe me? Just that. You didn't get Bill Tatum. You confessed to it so he wouldn't search the house. You did it to shield that girl. Well, that makes us all the more sure that she's the guilty party. No, no, Sheriff, please. Hank. Yeah? You mosey back to the office and get a search warrant. 
We'll have a look around here. While the sheriff searched Mrs. Penny's house, Butch and Truck compared notes. Truck, it's working out just like we planned. They'll all capture the girl, all right. I hope so. The thing that riles me is that we went to all this trouble and then found that the Lone Ranger was right here in town while the crowd was around the jail. Well, it don't matter. We'll get another crack at him as soon as the girl's arrested. I hope she is. You think she's in Ma Penny's house? I doubt it. I'll bet there's something in that house that'll tell where she is or Mrs. Penny wouldn't have tried so hard to keep the sheriff from searching. Well, there's nothing more that we can do. And nothing till the girl is found and put under arrest. Let's go to the cafe and wait till the sheriff's done with his searching. Then we'll find out what he's learned. Inside the house, Mrs. Penny followed the sheriff and his deputy from one room to another. Uh, that there? That's my bedroom. You don't have to go in there. I sure hate to be so insistent, Ma Penny. But I'd be neglecting my duty if I didn't make the search complete. Open the door. But, Sheriff... Ma, I'm asking you as few questions as possible. Now, just open that door, and I'll continue to make things as easy as I can. Oh, all right. I'll go in and open the shutter to let more light in. Just a minute, Ma Penny. Oh, now, what's the matter? You know as well as I do. You grabbed something from the table and tried to get it in your apron pocket. I'll have to have a look at it. It's nothing. Let me see, Ma Penny. Let me see. Hand her over. It's just a message. You can see it's got my name on it. Uh-huh. Open it up. Or should I? It's mine. It's personal mail. That's not mail. It was written by that girl and left there for you to find. I reckon that was why you didn't want me to go through here. You knew it was here, but you didn't get the chance to read it. I wish women could vote so as I could vote again you next election. Well, another message inside it, all sealed up. I'll read that. Please hand the enclosed envelope to the masked man who rides a white horse when he comes here to ask questions. Is that what it says? That's what it says. Oh, great day he was here. Oh, if I'd only had the chance to read that. Well, now we'll see what this girl says to the masked man that rides the white horse. Me take that. Huh? Sheriff, sure, a redskin. How'd you get in here? Me come back door. Me listen. Watch when you find note. Put down that gun, Injun. Me take letter. That for Lone Ranger. I don't care. Shut up, Hank. <laughs> the Lone Ranger, huh? All right, redskin. Take it to the Lone Ranger. Sheriff, sure, you gonna let him have it? You're doggone right I am, Hank. And then we'll wait and see what happens. When Tonto joined the Lone Ranger in camp, the masked man said, I had to ride in a roundabout way to get here, Tonto. Those deputies stayed behind me for quite a while. Maybe this message important. Addressed in the girl's handwriting. Where did you get it? In the house of Mrs. Penny. Good for you, Tonto. The girl wasn't there? Uh, her not there. Me not know where girl is. I wonder how she learns as much as she does. Hello. This will solve the murder of Bill Tatum. A girl not do it? Of course she didn't. Sheriff think girl guilty. The sheriff will change his mind before sundown. Come along, Tonto. We have things to do. Mm. What yes. to do? First, we've got to fix a disguise. Then we've got to ride to town again. Later in the day, shortly after noon, the cafe was a beehive of activity as men gathered to discuss the death of Bill Tatum and the suspected girl who had disappeared. Yeah, they tell me the sheriff has a dozen men out looking for her. I heard he had more than that. He's being mighty mysterious about the whole thing. There's Hank the deputy. Hey, Hank. Yeah? What is it, Jens? Well, what's the latest on the missing girl? Boys, I sure admire this kind of weather, don't you? Which means you won't talk about it. Oh, come on, Hank. The sheriff is holding out on us. Yes, it cost me my job if I said anything. Hey, deputy, we Hank you to know about the sheriff's plans. You do, huh, Butch? Who's that with you? Oh, Truxton, you know him. We heard the sheriff didn't tell all that he knows about things. If you want to know anything, you go ask the sheriff. If he wants you to know, he'll tell you. Come on, Butch, we're wasting time here. Where's the sheriff that's hunting a murderer? You heard that, Butch? Yeah. Oh, what's that, stranger? I want to talk to the sheriff. I understand he has about a dozen men wasting their time hunting for someone that can be proved innocent. That's pretty big talk, stranger. I guess no one took the trouble to look around the jail for clues after the bonnet was found. That is, no one but me. Well, you looked around, huh? Yes, of course. One of the things they know where I came from is to look for all the clues. Oh, where you came from, huh? Where's that? Another thing. 
They teach law officers to tell nothing. Uh, we know the sheriff, stranger. Now, he wouldn't pay attention to anything that you might uh, tell him. You're a stranger, you see. Yes. Now, if you'll tell us, maybe we can get him to pay some attention to what you found. It doesn't matter whether he pays any attention to it or not. But I guess he will when he sees what it is. What is it? Evidence that will hang a man. Oh, <laughs> you're joshing. Do I look like a man that makes jokes about murder? No, you don't. And I'll tell you what, mister. We'll go along to the sheriff with you. We'll tell him he better listen to you. You know where he is? He wasn't in his office when I went there. Uh, we know where you can find him. We'll take you right to him. That'd be mighty nice of you. Yeah, we don't mind. Fact is, we'll be glad to do it. Say, uh, where did you find this, uh, this evidence you speak of? Near the scene of the crime. I guess the crook doesn't know he lost it, or he had gone back after it. Well, maybe it was something he, well, he wouldn't have missed. Maybe. Uh, look, stranger, could it have been a vest button or something like that? Well, it could have been, but it wasn't. Hmm. Mighty close mouth, don't you? Mighty. Now you sit right there for a minute, mister, and we'll be right back. I want to speak to my friend a second. All right. Come on over here, truck. Don't let the deputy know about this stranger. He'll want to come along with us. I know. Truck, what did I lose? I can't figure it out. I don't know, but whatever it is, we're going to get it. Can't have things spoiled now. I know. We'll lead the stranger to a good place, and then you follow my lead. It suits me. Come on, mister. We're ready to take you where you want to go. I'm with you. Uh, you won't need your horse for this. That's good. How far is it to where the sheriff is? It won't take long to get where we're going. We uh, got to go this way. Just lead the way. I'm right with you. The Lone Ranger, walking between truck and butch, left town and headed for a small clump of trees just beyond the last of the buildings on the main street. Little was said during the walk, but Butch and Truck exchanged meaningful glances behind the back of the disguised man. Is the sheriff in those cottonwoods? That's where we're going, mister, right there. The sheriff is likely to be doggone near any place, you see. Only you won't talk to no sheriff today. What's that? Why won't I talk to him? This is a gun that's prodding your spine, stranger. Now keep walking. What sort of a trick is it? Just keep walking. Let's see here. We'll talk when we get in them trees. We're most there now, and anything you've got to say can wait. You won't get away with this. No. We'll see about that. You're not going to take me to the sheriff at all. That's one time you're dead right. You want the evidence I have for yourselves. You want to collect the rewards, huh? <laughs> we'll be rewarded, all right, when we get whatever you found. Stop right here. This is good enough. I'll keep a gun on him, truck, while you search him. He don't have a gun on him. I uh, reckon he's one of these hombres that counts on his wits, huh? <laughs> is that it, mister? Yeah. I guess so. A gun wouldn't do you no good anyway when you deal with men like us. I don't find anything like evidence on him, Butch. You must have it somewhere. You tell us what you found and be quick about it. All right. I'll tell you the evidence that will hang the murderer. The fancy pin. The kind that is usually worn on a man's neckerchief. It's uh, shaped like a horseshoe and made of imitation diamonds. It has the initials TM on it. What? Your feeling of the one you wear. You never found any such thing. No, because you're still wearing it. So you're the murderer. I thought that little trick would make you show your guilt. Well, you're wrong. I didn't do it. But when I tell the sheriff what I saw just now, he'll suspect you. Maybe when he You won't tell nobody nothing. And when I also tell how you brought me here at the point of a gun to make me hand over what evidence I have, you'll be doubly convincing. I'll deal with him, truck. Just a minute. I don't want you men to think I haven't told the truth. I said I found evidence near the jail. Well, I did. The evidence was a deputy who had been knocked down. A girl could not have struck that hard. That's talking enough. Wait a minute. I've already pointed out two things that will swing a jury against you. Now, if you try to kill me so I can't tell how you brought me here to steal the evidence, it will be just about all that's needed to hang you. If you're out of the way, you won't be able to tell anything. Go ahead, Butch. I wouldn't do it, Butch. If Truck is a killer, let him try to shoot me. Go on, he's talked too much already. Why should you do Truck's work for him? I'm doing my own work, and I'm doing it right now. Not today, you don't. Huh? Drop that gun. Hello. Hey, don't get me. No. He got him in the leg, Sheriff. You, Butch, drop that gun. I got my hands up. Don't shoot. Hank, put the handcuffs on this big one. You two got a rope on that one that's falling on the ground. I didn't do it. It was Butch. He's the one. Listen to him squeal. He was in it as much as I was. I guess the two of you will get all that's coming a to you. A frame up, huh? That slick talking critter. Only had another chance. And now there's two men I got to get. That one and the Lone Ranger. Well, you're getting days are all over with, Butch. And maybe it'll make you feel good to know that your scheme worked out real slick. You tried to frame a girl for a crime so the Lone Ranger would come to help her. I'm not hung yet. I'll get another chance. Your plan worked out real slick. The Lone Ranger did come. Uh, what's that? Only you didn't know it when he showed up. 
Look over there, where a gent has taken off a fake mustache and black hat and put on a mask and a white hat instead. There he is. Why, that's him. That's right, Butch. That sure enough is the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 